Hello, everybody. My name is Rune Aldred, and welcome to today's episode of The Drinking Corner. Um, I am here by myself. We are having another Lone Thought episode, something we did a season ago. Um, it's about that time. We've been having a little bit of difficulties here on The Drinking Corner, and there's a couple of things I would like to address for both the audience members and the crew members of this podcast, which I'm going to do just very publicly, publicly, if I, if I could talk right. Um, as always, you could catch the Drinking Corner podcast as well as r and on any of your podcast listening devices, or you could catch the video format of Drinking Corner here on the Nerdgasmic Goodfellas YouTube channel, where we upload the vidcast version of every single podcast. For those of whom who wish to see in this episode's case, my face, my emotion, and everything else that gives off a more physical appearance to the podcast. Sorry, I'm really thirsty right now. Um, without further ado, we should just jump into why we're doing this episode. Um, we have had complications ever since season one of the drinking corner which originally it was not planned to be a seasonal show by any means but uh here we are season three we've been doing this podcast for three years it's been how would the proper terminology be for this it's been it's been really really bad season one we were looking at 25 episodes we were supposed to do an episode a week granted we know that circum circumstance certain circumstances get in the way of achieving that goal season two being the low point of the series we were only able to scrape in five episodes with season three now being the season we all came through and agreed would be the season we actually put in an effort this marks the 11th episode so for me personally, as the head person in charge of Drinking Corner, I am disappointed. There are numerous issues that I take with this. There are a lot of reasons for the failures that I feel that come with this podcast. Granted, there are a few of us who actually try. And I want I want to make it clear when I say a few of us. For the Drinking Corner podcast, one of our requirements is we need three people. At any time for a bona fide episode, it's th at the bare minimum three people with one returning host. Which means whoever wins the episode of a previous episode comes back to host the next week. <laughs> um, there is ten of us. There is the Co-creators, myself and David. There are Chris and John who are returning people. We have Brian who made his appearance this season. Logan who made his appearance for a one-off episode last season. Then we have Whiskey and Bry. We have uh, Matt, Saint, and Robert. Who Robert, Saint. Saint's been in season one episodes. But Robert and Matt have not been in any episodes, but they're also a part of the group and organization. They weigh in topics and things like that. But out of 10 people, you would figure, despite the conflicting schedules and everything, we would be able to pick one day out of the week for an hour to two hours where we could properly sit down, do an episode. And for whatever reason, it has just been a challenge and a half. Which is okay. I mean, it's it's one thing that we are not big. Like we're we're not an actual sponsored podcast. This is something that I do do for fun. It is something that both myself, Chris, John, David, and everybody else who have been a part of episodes have stated that we have fun making the contents we have fun when we're doing games like clue against each other something that we brought in this season with trying out the 
clue steam game and just talking instead of having actual competitions and then uh, we we vary in different categories but the scheduling conflicts between 10 people to pick a time where it's like I give some people more leeway where it's people like Whiskey and Bry who has a actual time zone difference and for those of whom who have wife, kids, families, and everything, it's it's understandable. But again, it's one of the complications we have, and it's a reason for failure. Which, as I mentioned beforehand, like be, not being a big channel is okay for us, because again, this is what we do for fun. But like we do have ratings. We we have been viewed, we have been rated, we have room for motivation. Like with Spotify, I the drinking corner on Spotify is a 4.5 out of 5 star podcast. We've had two reviews, which isn't a lot, but through one outlet out of numerous, because again, we're on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, RSS, there is a multiple different areas where you can find us. And being a 4.5 on one platform is good, in my opinion. Granted, r and is not rated, but r and is new as of this year. It was when we started this year. Through our RSS, though, we, we have like 935 downloads in the last 100 days. So... Which is weird, because Drinking Corner this year has been very minimum. But we're out there, which I would hope for the crew members who this podcast is going to be specifically sent to. I hope that brings in some motivation because I I do see and recognize the lack of motivation between us. Uh, the no communication in the group chat. The group chat went from being a very businessy, like this is meant for the podcast for the videos we're working on for projects to being a place where we're just sending shit posts and memes and jokes between each other, which is okay. Like I a hundred percent encourage that within the group because like we're all friends. It's, it's what we're doing. We're making jokes and doing all that, but the unwillingness to cooperate, the cancellation of plans when we've had an episode of drinking corner set where it's, uh, it is an episode that is literally a giveaway episode for one of the hosts, John, on going through the history of retro gaming. And it is one that we've had planned for over a month and we cannot get it filmed because getting a hold of certain people has just been drastically harder than it should to put away an hour, especially like not to mention personal things or personal names to reasonings, but we've had a moment where one of us had an excess amount of free time. Granted, they had stuff going on. We should have been able to meet for an hour. If we can meet for three hours to play Call of Duty, to play other type of games, we can meet for an hour out of that time to get something done. Because I don't want to sit there and just be like, season four will be the season. Yeah, every year is a different season and we'll just get better because we made this work. We made this work in season one. We had fun. We had a winner. We had plans. We were planning a good second season and it fell off. And then just from that fall off point, we never got back on our feet and ran, which is what I want to change. It's the point for these lone thoughts where it's just me basically sitting here ranting to both the members of the group, the people that are a part of this, and to the audience. Because there's frustrations, there is not animosity, but there is just, there's hope to want to do better because I personally enjoy doing the podcast. I enjoy sitting here talking about Topics, whether it's in R and R, and we're just discussing random things and just talking for an hour about viewpoints or how we feel on things, things we're excited for, or if it's us getting together doing some type of game that we create here 
that is something that we could discuss, talk about, and have an interesting conversation. Granted, with Drinking Corner, we're typically drinking and having small bar talk, but still. It's about doing the fun things. And it's about having a good time. Because, again, none of us get paid for this. We have no sponsorship. We have no real motivation outside of just wanting to do something together. Which I completely get. Because I've had the conversation with a few people here. Down, kitty. I've had the conversation with a few people here where it's like a lack of funding. Making this feel like a job with no pay. It sucks. I get that. I absolutely get that. But we can't have the hope and encouragement of getting paid to do something that we're going to enjoy doing if we don't put in the effort to make something that's worth people's time. And I I want that to be something we focus on. I, I've put a lot of time, my own personal funding and effort into making these more enjoyable, more presentable, giving people the opportunity to have a platform to stand on talk. Uh, we just did an episode in R and R that was a deeper, more meaningful conversation between me and David about issues that are rising up in a gaming community that affects a lot of people. And I feel like it's going to be one of the best R and R episodes because it was a real talk. And I mean, we could do these on Drinking Corner. Whoever hosts could pick whatever topic and pick however we're going to set up and do the episode. It's just, I don't know if it's a motivation of people needing topics to pick from. If it's, I don't know. And the more I continue on this tangent, the more it feels like a rant, which is absolutely not what I'm wanting to do. And I know I'm very, one second. I know I'm being very targeting when it comes to the audience of this particular episode, which I know for a lot of people who are just wanting to click on and hear maybe some nerdy shit or something, I know it's not going to be as enjoyable for you guys, but I, oh God, losing a train of thought. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of things we could do to make this show better and one thing that i'm reaching out and asking both the audience and the crew here is what do you guys think would do good um i would love to see some audience member suggestions on what they think would be good topics or what audience that we're trying to reach out to what kind of stuff you'd like to see because i've looked at our ratings through episodes and I know generally with uh, with Drinking Corner specifically, when we talk about games or when we actually do game show episodes, we tend to get more downloads, more view duration and stuff like that. Whereas like R&R, &R, when we're talking about comic books or doing reviews, that's where we kind of peek at in that channel. So yeah. Let me know what you guys would like to listen to or for our viewing audience, what you guys would like to see us talk about. Um, I'm going to keep this episode relatively short because, again, it's just a lone thought. <coughs> Both in the concept of I'm here by myself talking and that this is the one train of thought. I had it for the video. Oh, that's another reason for failure right there, dude. We're just exhausted after work. A lot of us work night shift jobs and having having half of us having jobs that take place during the day and having half of us take place with jobs that are at night is just complicated. I said that so wrong, but fuck it. Thank you, guys. And everybody who has viewed or watched this episode, I know it's not the strongest episode in the series, but for those of whom who are listening, I highly encourage you to go back and review season one content. Um, we did have a definitive winner of this season. I am going to debate how I want to do the rest of everything. I, I have a lot of time to think. You could find in the description of the episode below links to all of our stuff. 
the uh, the links will take you to areas where you could communicate with us directly. Give us your feedback, your opinion. I know that's a very risque thing to do to give you direct communication to us because God, not uh, not always are things polite, but we're open to criticism. We're open to review. We're open to suggestion. Let me know what you guys think. I really look forward to seeing you guys in the ending of season three as we move on to season four and deciding what we're going to do with everything, how the podcast will move forward because it's not something I am ready to give up on just yet. Whether or not the team feels the same will be up for discussion in our group chat, but thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for participating, for being here for watching, listening, for rating, for commenting, just everything. It's all stuff I look at in my free time and base decisions on. So yeah, hopefully the next episode will be so much more enjoyable. Hopefully we'll either get the actual episode we've been planning done or we'll come up with something new and fun. Till then, have a wonderful day, night, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever time of day you guys have viewed or listened to this. We'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo, everybody.